Hello everyone, uh, my name is Mr. Smith and I'd like to welcome y'all to our YouTube channel and uh, ask y'all if y'all haven't done so already, ask you please subscribe to it and share us around. And uh, today I'm going to be sharing a dream or vision with you. Uh, I've had others before this one, but for some reason I feel it's important to share this one here first with you. Uh, as it has to regard to the American nation. Uh, and one of y'all here, I'd, I'd like to have y'all inputs and uh, thoughts on it. But again, this all has to do with the, the American nation uh, of today. And uh, I had this right around August the 17th of this year, 2021. And, uh, but when I seen this, it was like I, when it started out, like I, I somewhere and I seen this large stone pole. And, uh, it had writings all the way down this st stone pole. And, like I said, the pole is pretty good size, probably large. And I can see at the very top of this stone pole that, it had the American flag. It, it just had the flag part. It didn't have uh, the flag with none old pole or nothing like it. It just had the American flag engraved in this stone pole. And as I continued watching this uh, stone pole with the uh, American flag, I began to hear it start cracking and crumbling. And I could see the pieces that was, you know, crumbling off of it that was coming and hitting the ground. And then I seen the stone pole begin to start sinking down into the ground. Then after seeing that, I showed uh, this mountain, which I could see it from a distance, you know, not too far off from it. But I seen this mountain from a distance and it had a slope going up to it. And I could see, you know, up towards the top of this mountain, it had like a cave. I also seen this figure of a man about halfway up this slope, climbing up towards that cave. Then as I turned around and looked back to where I seen this stone pole with the American flag where it's sinking, I noticed it didn't sink all the way down into the ground. But it sunk, it sunk so deep that uh, there's just a little bit of it sticking up out of the ground it would remind you of a tree stump but this here was like looked like a stone tree stump sticking up out of the ground you could barely could see the, the engraved American flag on it then after that I found myself inside this cave and on the ends right around towards the mouth of it, after I found myself a little ways in there I looked upon the wall and uh, I seen, I, I could see this stone tablet. And this tablet had a bunch of writings on it. And uh, then I heard this stone tablet begin to crack and crumble also. And I could hear and see the uh, pieces of it where it was cracking and crumbling, falling and hitting the ground. Then as I looked up, I could see the engravings of a bird on the cave wall. It was uh, like standing sideways, but if you're looking at it, it'd be looking towards, uh, towards the right. And then I seen, after that, I seen the image of a single eye. And it was also engraved on the cave wall. Um, after looking at these two images that was engraved on the cave walls of the bird and the eye, I looked a little bit further in the cave and I could see something like a fire on the ground. As I was going up to it, it looked like a small campfire. A small campfire, but nobody else was around. And then, as I continued watching this small campfire, I heard two voices coming to me. And... After it said the first time, I went looking around, you know, and there was nobody else in there. It was like 
uh, it was like these voices was coming from that small campfire, but nobody was around in there but me. And what it said was, uh, the first time it said something, it said pride. And then after it said that, you know, I was telling you earlier that I went looking around and nobody else was in there but me. And then as I continued trying to look and I looked at the campfire again, uh, it said something else. It said seven deadly. That's all it said. The first time it said pride and the second time it said something it said seven deadly. As I began pondering upon what it said and uh, as I again looking at this campfire and I, like I said it sounded like it, it came from a campfire. Nobody else around but the voice of sound came from this small campfire. Um, but again as I began to uh, listen and ponder on what it was saying uh I looked, and then I seen another engraving on the cave wall. And this time it was engraving of like, it ain't just like the ships you see today or the boats you see today. This here was like more ancient looking type of boat or ship. And it had a wind sail to it, but it was engraving, it was engraving of a boat or a ship, old time ship, ship that was a, uh, from way back in time and it had a wind sail on it and uh, then I hear like a voice say and this time it was a little bit softer because when I seen this boat I, I wasn't around the campfire I could see that boat engraved on the uh, wall and it, just, it barely did speak it out it was kind of soft and said something like what is and what is to come now, uh, you can take this however you like, but I know this whole entire dream or vision, whichever you want to call it, has to do with the American nation. And, uh, but I like your all's opinions and your thoughts on this. And you can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter and we're here on in YouTube. And you can contact us at any of the social media sites. Or you can email me at info.mitchsmithbiblestudies at gmail.com. Now, like I said, I've had, you know, others, dreams or visions or what, whatever you want to call them, that I'll be bringing a little bit later. And they was even before this one that I had on the 17th. But I felt like since this one here had to do with the American nation and what what's happening to it and what's coming forth, if y'all have any other uh, interpretations or thoughts or opinions, again, feel free to uh, tell me or tell others. But uh, remember, remember to pray and pray daily and give the good Lord uh, the praise and glory he so rightly deserves. Give him thanks for sending his son Jesus Christ for us. And I want to say God bless you all and your all's families and uh, be safe.